Hi everyone, thank you very much for your interest in the book on crustaceans. Um, here it is. Uh, I still don't have it in, in my hands yet. Uh, it's in press at the moment. It will be arriving soon. And the main point of this, of this book was to help scientists uh, that work in the Southern Ocean with top predators uh, to identify crustaceans. And through our experience, um, we found that the, the information is scattered uh, all over the place and it was very valuable um, to gather that information and update some of, 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 of the work that had been done uh, on crustaceans. But making this bridge between um, identifying the crustaceans uh, in the diet of top predators in, in the Southern Ocean. Uh, it's been quite a task. It took uh, four to six years uh, with numerous colleagues around the world. Many thanks to all of them. Um, and uh, the work has been led by myself and, and Yves Charel from, from France. But everyone has been amazing and very helpful. And thank you to SCAR for publishing this book. This is a, a community effort for sure. Um, and this is um, uh, under the program of SCAR and Terra and SCAR and Teco. Uh, it also involves the community of the expert group of birds and Antarctic marine mammals uh, of SCAR, ICE, uh, our Portuguese polar program. Uh, MNA, the uh, museum from from um, from Italy, Harvey uh, from Germany, um, CNRS uh, from France, and BAS, the British Antarctic Survey, and University of Coimbra uh, in Portugal. And uh, so, generally, it's just these are the major uh, organizations and programs that in, involve directly. But as I mentioned, it's a collective work from from numerous. Uh, numerous um, colleagues across the world to to make this happen. So many thanks to them. This is this is the accomplishment of so many years. So thanks to everyone. Uh, the initial uh, rationale of this work uh, came uh, from the Rasen scan uh, that SCAR organized in 2014, and and they they had a vision of identifying some of the urgent challenges that we have in Southern Ocean and Antarctica uh, and what, this, what science needs to be done in the next uh, two decades. And it has been quite a challenge uh, identifying those. And we've done some of the work on identifying that for the Southern Ocean itself. And one thing that we identify is it was this gap. Uh, if you work on the diet of top predators in the Southern Ocean, is quite hard to get this information. And the crustaceans play quite a crucial role in the diet of, uh, of Antarctic marine food webs. Uh, Antarctic krill, as you know, play a crucial role, but there's various species of euphosids. Um, uh, zooplankton play such a crucial cool role in the diet of numerous predators. And uh, we have quite a range of crustaceans found in, in the Southern Ocean. So how do they make available them to predators and how we were able to identify them is not easy. You need, that's why we had to bring so many experts on crustaceans on board uh, because it's not a, a very easy uh, task to do. So first, why the book now? First, because there was a need. Um, uh, coming from analyzing um, the data of predators uh, in the Southern Ocean for more than two decades now, uh, we found that it was quite hard to bring all the different books to identify correctly the crustaceans. And also it would be very important to identify where the gaps are and what we need to do more in the future because some of the crustaceans we know it's present there, but we are not able to identify it because we don't have the tools. <clears throat> Simply because the carapace of the crustacean, we've never seen it, or it hasn't been described so that it could be valuable for someone that would find parts of that crustacean in the diet of top predators. Uh, 
So you, it was also seen as a, as a, a good opportunity for the programs that were established four or six years ago to work on, on, on this matter. So we know they are relevant. We looked at more than 100 species of crustaceans, the most important ones in the diet of top predators. So we're talking about crustaceans for more than uh, 50 families uh, across the spectrum of crustaceans found in diet. So here's an example of a chick that got overwhelmed with too much Antarctic krill in their diet. And actually, uh, we analyzed that stomach contents uh, directly from them. And we can identify um, the crustaceans even from, from scats, for example. And if we do, from the carapace, if we do use them and if they are in good shape, we are able to measure them and allometric equations could convert uh, the size of the carapace to the original size of the animal and even their weight. So that information is very crucial. But um, one of the conclusions of the book is was that there's not many allometric equations uh, and we need more of those. And even the ones that there are, they're not uh, with a, a huge amount of individuals to make good regressions. There's some exceptions but the, uh, to the rule, but in general, uh, there's still a lot of work needs to be done on this. So for us to identify the most important species uh, of crustaceans in the diet of predators, we reviewed all the bibliography. So um, we reviewed uh, uh, the information that we get, as many papers that we could hand off uh, that registered crustaceans in the diets of top predators in the Southern Ocean. So we described the presence um, uh, uh, in the diet of top predators, where these crustaceans are distributed. Um, what type predators are they? So we really look into them. We also provide guidance how to identify the crustaceans, to measure them, uh, and try to identify them. So, uh, and that was very crucial. And as I mentioned already, we also provide allometric equations, the ones that are available already in the bibliography around, um, to, to convert some parts of the animals to uh, the original size and weight mass uh, of the crustaceans themselves. Uh, but as I mentioned, still a lot of work uh, needs to be collected. Uh, I think we need to monitor these crustaceans, uh, to look at their diets, and we need, we need clearly uh, to look at the crustaceans and to their different parts and develop new allometric equations much better and, and also provide an update on how to identify the different parts of it too. And how we did that, so we provide guidance on uh, what type of measurements can you do so that if there are uh, allometric equations available, you can use them. So what measurements should you do if you, if you find a crustacean? Because the crustacean in the diet of predators, as you can imagine, is not, in many cases, is not complete. So if the carapace is intact is one of the uh, one of the key elements that you can use. The eyes, sometimes it can be used as well, not only to define to species level, but also to convert to original sizes. So we provide guidance on what you do. If you have a stomach content of a penguin, what you do with it? And what type of indices should you do to quantify uh, those diets according to the method that you use? Could be scats, if it's feces, or stomach contents. So of course you have to adapt the method. And we provide you what type of uh, measurements you should do and how you identify them. So we we actually provide you guidance if if you just come across a certain animal, a certain crustacean, you know where should you start from identify them. Uh, uh, one of the initial ones is the size. So we have from. Um, uh, copepods, for example, are extremely small, but if you go to azopods or decapods, they're extremely big. So even from their sheer size, you can already uh, have already an, uh, an idea from even from uh, the size and morphology, an idea what type of uh, family could this um, crustacean go to uh, or be belong to. Uh, 
And so we provide also photographs uh, and provide guidance of the sizes of those animals as much as we can. We had difficulties. We spent quite considerable time looking for photographs and searching for, for, for uh, photographs around the community, but it was not easy. So we don't have photographs from all the species, but we have all the information. So as an example, for example, not a crank on Antarcticus. So we provide allometric equations that are, is a, they are available where they're distributed, where they occur, what are the top predators that mostly feed on them. So we provide all the references that we have that uh, this crustacean has been consumed from, from the predators and also looking from the user. So from the, the one that is uh, using the book. Uh, so if I have this crustacean in front of me, what should I look at? Because sometimes when the the species being described, they go to certain detail. Uh, it's very difficult unless you're uh, an expert on crustaceans. So that's why there are so many experts on crustaceans because it's so hard to identify them. So how can we provide the, the essential tools for someone that works with top predators that you will be able to identify? This is the key feature that I should look at at not a Kangron Antarcticus to identify to the species level, if possible. And who could I mistake these species to others? So uh, we provide that information too. And when it's possible, we have photographs and how they look like. But uh, I should point out that um, in case of doubt, do contact the experts that I cited in the book. They are the leading uh, scientists on crustaceans. Um, that can provide the guidance on how they identify some of these crustaceans in the diet of top predators. So do contact them if you need uh, help. Um, the worst that you can do is wrongly identify a crustacean because it can make uh, the science um, very difficult for everybody else if, you're, if your data is not reliable. So this work uh, uh, it already being used, so the, the book is freely online available. It's free for you to use. We aim to put it online free available um, uh, with sections that can be updated in the future. Uh, and of course, it will be very valuable for the wide range of communities. And should be all, also acknowledged uh, the excellent work that in terms of monitoring have been done by, by Kamala, for example, they asked us the book immediately. Uh, because it could be very useful for, for the observers uh, that work on the fishing vessels. But this is not the breadth of, or, or, of groups that need our help. So it's free, it's for the community. Uh, it, it, it was definitely a, a pleasure uh, to work uh, with all these colleagues and, and the full list of acknowledgements is in the book. Finally, I will have it in my hand. And uh, yeah, if you want a copy, do contact me by email. But um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. And uh, thank you very much for SCAR for sponsoring the book. Thank you. Ciao.